Fast forward to today. Enter Colossal Biosciences, the company that wants to bring back mammoths, dodos, and yes, the thylacine, using ancient DNA, CRISPR, and some wild synthetic biology, they're working on reviving this lost marsupial. How? They're using the fat-tailed dunnart, the thylacine's closest living marsupial cousin, as a genetic template. Basically, nature's 3D printer, but for extinct animals. So what was this creature really like? Let's break it down. Adult thylacine stood about two feet tall at the shoulder, six feet long nose to tail, and weighed between 35 to 70 pounds. Think medium-sized dog with tiger stripes and a kangaroo pouch. It hunted small animals, kangaroos, birds, bandicoots, probably did some scavenging too. And despite the bad PR, it likely wasn't the sheep-slaying menace settlers thought it was. Its closest living relatives? Not wolves, not cats, but the Tasmanian devil and numbat, all in the same weird marsupial gang. They likely lived in pairs, raised two to four pups in backward-facing pouches, and were fiercely protective. When they disappeared, Tasmania's ecosystems changed. Some prey boomed. Others, like scavengers, lost a rival. Bringing the thylacine back could rebalance that, or totally mess it up. Nature doesn't like reruns. 